Hello, you're welcome to this tutorial video. Alright, if you're watching on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you how you can edit PSD files. Alright, PSD files are actually editable with smartphone as well. You can do that with phone or laptop. Alright, so when you go to um, a platform called um, photop.com, you are going to see an interface that actually looks like Photoshop all right so you can edit them there okay so you can just go there and follow what I'm going to do here with your smartphone you're still going to get the same thing all right so this is how you're going to now edit PSD if I PS PSD if I like Photoshop documents all right so you can see this Photoshop and um, how do you do that now first of all when you get access to these templates okay now first if you've not gotten access to the templates okay all right I'm giving out uh, over 100 PSD files, okay. A PSD files is actually included in a bundle of the three of the four in one, actually 300 editable design templates, a hundred more than a hundred for for Corridor, more than a hundred for Photoshop, more than a 50 for Pixel App, and more than 50 for Canva, right? Canva links. You can check the description of the video, you're going to see access links to the videos guiding you how to edit your other formats okay and then for you to enroll for this particular bundle this editable design template bundle um is just for a little token and it's for a very specific number of persons okay you just have to be very fast so that you don't miss out okay be very fast so that you don't miss out if you have not enrolled okay all right just in case you're watching on youtube and you've not enrolled or maybe you're, yeah you're not enrolled please do that okay so what um what I saying? I was saying, how do you edit this P these PSD files? Click the file, click open. All right, you can see the files here. Okay, you can see the files here. Um, they are actually different different kinds of design categorized. All right, design. So, um, if, for example, if I'm going to open um, this professional design now. If you download immediately you download it it's going to download them they are going to be zipped okay let me show you something here now you can see that these are the editable design files okay these are the edit editable design all right so when i open it you can see these are um 100 plus photoshop templates okay you can see them here all right so they are actually different styles different designs okay so what i'm going to do now is um um, let me go back. So when you download, you can see this three dot. When you click it and you download the folder, all right. If you use system, it's going to be quite easier. But if it's phone, it's still fine, all right. Or you can download them individually. When you download everything, it's going to be zipped. Or if you open and download, let me open it. And then if you want to download one, you can click these three dots here. You are still going to see download. It's going to download this particular one. So if it's the one after the other, you're downloading then it is not going to be um it's not going to be zipped but if you download the entire folder then it's likely going to be zipped so you open your file let me open your file let me click let me check my downloads okay so you can see this 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 is this is a zipped folder all right so just click it right click it and then uh, you can extract to that particular when you extract it's going to when you extract you are going to see everything there all right just extract to that particular folder all right so if you just extract to that particular folder it's going to then when you go there that is where you will see all the psd files okay so that's how to do that then i'm going to open this so how do you edit them it's quite um it's quite simple to do all right you can see this first one is the logo all right you can see that the logo is off um this is the text when you off it you can see that all the texts have gone all the texts are grouped all right so you can use this i button to know which one you're clicking all right so these other ones they are the social media icon and then the background is here you can see it. so um the design is also here so i want to change the text if it's the logo you can look at this um this arrow um icon here you can click it so that it drops down all right when you double click this uh, this is where the logo is so you can turn off this and then click open place click place us place click place and then you are going to go to your own archive all right so 
Uh, you're going to go to own archive and bring your own logo okay i don't think i have any logo right now that i'll all right let me check um png all right let's say this is the logo i want to add it's just an example um okay let's add this let's say this is the logo i want to add it's placed already all right so it's perfectly set. if it's not set you can hold your alternative and um, and your shift your alternative and your shift or if you want if you want it to be relative you can hold your shift only all right so to stretch it all right so that you don't stretch it this way all right this is a very poor way of doing it so don't do that so when once it's done just look at the check here just check it and then close it click yes then this is going to update you can see it it has updated all right so it has updated it, has, it actually became um you know white because of how it was set and because of the background here okay um then you can click the text break it down this is the title text okay so if you want to change the text just look at if it's a folder you click the drop down so that you can see it you can see the welcome here you can see the welcome here so what you just need to do to edit the text is not very it's not something difficult to do all right so first of all you can see that um uh, it's 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 noted here that there's a sign here that I don't have this font, but that's not a challenge. It will be updated. All right, so come here and click the text tool. When you click the text tool, uh, it's going to activate it. Then go to where you want to edit and click that particular that particular text. So it's going to activate it that you, for you to edit. All right, so um, I don't have the font, so uh, it's actually going to change. I don't think I have this font. Maybe that's what they're telling me. I don't know. So you can click you are. You can write whatever you want to write. You are. Alright, so you can once you, once you're done, check check it. And then you want to change this other one, do the same. Alright. Um just just like that. Just write whatever you want to write and do it. All of them are customized. Put up, put whatever you want to write. Anyone you don't need, all right. You can come to the layer here, click it. Whether it's a part, it's, it's an entire folder, or whatever you don't like, you can just delete it, and it's going to go off your design. Okay. So that's how to edit. Now Photoshop works with layers. So if whether you open with smartphone or with your laptop, everything you are going to, yeah, it's, you are going to do better when you begin to understand how these layers work. All right. So. You can choose to use layers and then if it's for text you can directly just click the text editing tool um and just edit straight up and then check once you're done edit once you're done you check it it's okay then you come here click this um once you're done you can control it select and then type whatever you want to type once you're okay that's fine then you you can check it when you check it that means it is done then if you want to export it um if you want to move all right this is the move tool here so i believe you should know how to edit with if you are taking the ones for photoshop you should know how to edit them but even if you don't know how to edit them that's why i'm creating these videos all right so uh, if you want to move that's the move tool over there so i'm not here to teach you everything about photoshop though so what you're now going to do if you want to export it click the when I click file, then you can come to if you want to save it as picture, you can save come as um save oh my god, my battery is getting down. Click save as and then you can choose format here, choose JPEG, look at this JPEG, and then you can just save, click OK, maximum, click OK, and your file is saved as picture in your file manager. You can go there and check. I think uh, my battery is getting down, so I just need to shut down for now. So if you want to subscribe, please subscribe and uh, do have a great time. Thank you.